Hi, I'm Chuck, KK6USY. Welcome to Ham Radio Adventures. Today I, I, I'm going to show you something a little different. I, uh, I've been looking at a lot of the, the, the radios like Flex, Anon. Uh, I had the little ELAD. I really like it. Also, it's a great little radio. But I wanted to go a little farther with this. And I didn't really want to pay, especially the Anons are really expensive, really great radios. Uh, a little more than I want to pay at the, at the time. But So my good buddy Don... Um, was, has been telling us for a long time about the Hermes Light 2. Great little radio. It's tiny. It's about the size of my hand. Basically, it fits right in my hand. So I purchased one. And so today I'm going to show you a couple things on it and show you the boxes it comes in. It's a, it's a build-it-yourself radio, but everything's pretty much already built. All you do is uh, slide a couple pieces, two boards, into a con enclosure. If you buy the enclosure, you hook them together with a... Um, a, a thing that runs the pin that hooks the pins together and I'll show that to you in the video and The other thing I want to show you is I don't see a whole lot of documentation or videos on how to do the pure signal mod There's two ways to do it. You can buy another board it has different uh, Functions that it'll do and it integrates with the hard rock uh, Amplifier I'm not planning on doing that stuff. So I didn't buy the extra board So this is the way of doing it you don't have to do this to run this radio. It runs great without it. It's uh, it's just a way of making the signal just a little more pure, I guess is what it is. I still have some stuff to look into on that. So before I actually hook it up and do it, um, I'm going to do a little more investigation. But I am going to show you how to make the, do the modification. It's real simple. It's the only soldering in this whole project. And you don't have to solder anything if you don't want to do this pure signal. So let's go inside and I'll uh, pull this thing apart and show it to you guys. So I've been hearing lots and lots of good things about the Hermes Light 2. So I purchased one. And I just wanted to show you guys the boxes that they come in. This is the box for the actual radio. Okay. Pretty small. You can see my hand. It's smaller than my hand. Um, I also bought the Hermes Light 2 into ADR. That's the person that made it. It's a filter board. Okay. And the other part I bought was the enclosure. Okay. And that's all the parts that, the three parts that I got. There are other things you can purchase, but this is what I purchased. Today I'm going to show the everything put together and then also the uh, pure signal modification I did to it. And uh, it's pretty simple if you're just careful. So I'll show that to you now. All right. Now, I just wanted to put this, I haven't seen this documented too many places on uh, YouTube or any kind of videos, but if you look at this this one right here, I added this. This is the SMA with the coax, and I just cut it. I had, it had this on both sides, and I cut it, and I stripped the, uh, I stripped it, and I separated the center and the braid. All right, let me see if I can get this a little bit closer for you guys. Okay. I see these pins down here. Let me get it from the other side here. So the braid goes across three and four. So you got one, two, three and four, so it goes across those two. There's five, and then the center goes to number six here. This is for the pure signal, guys. Now this is one of the ways of doing it. You could, there's also a, an add-on board you can buy that does the same thing, but I didn't really need all the stuff that came with, so I just did it this way. Pretty easy, just be careful. And where this is, is this is the filter board here, and this is the main radio, and this is the pin this puts the two boards together, and that's where you connect it right there, and those two there. Okay. And now I can finish this. Uh, I did install, if you see right here, there's a screw coming up. Let's see. See the screw right there with a nut? And, the, and it has the, uh, the little space underneath that's for a heat sink, okay? I did put that on also. 
with some uh, heat sink grease. Here's the uh, inside of the board here. Now, some one guy told me that his was metal, but I'm pretty sure this is PCB board. And then there's the other end of it there. And if you guys see, <laughs> it's about the size of my hand, so this thing's tiny. Here's the back of the uh, the radio. Let me let me back out just a little bit. Oops, wrong way. There we go. So there's the back of the radio. There are some extra options you can throw in here for this. I think uh, you hook the the Hard Rock 50 watt amplifier, and I think it hooks into there, so it does everything for you. It basically, follows you around the bands. This is your exciter for your uh, your amp, and this is your antenna. I think this is like a uh, you can use this one for a secondary antenna just to listen on. I'm not sure about that, but I think that's what that's for. Now on the bottom, I added these little feet here. You guys can see those, and those are nice. They they got a nice little grip to them, so it holds pretty good. Now the front of the radio. Here's the front. Now this is a Hermes light too. It says Hermes light, but I guess they just didn't change it to the two. These are clocks. I don't really know what they're for. This is a push to talk button or a key for doing CW. And these are all lights. This is your uh, hookup. This is how you hook it to your system. Now mine is hooked straight into the uh, my router. And then here's your 12 volt, or yeah, 11 to 16 volt for your um, your power supply. All right. Just wanted to show you guys all that. The next thing I'm going to show you guys is well, we'll just do that for today. All right. Right here, this has like a U, and this is like a upside down T here, and this one goes into this on the bottom one. All right. So. That's this one here, so this goes this way. It drops in there and it locks in nice, okay? Then it has four more screws to put in. And those screws go in the corners. Okay? All right, short video, guys. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. It's, it's, this is a cool little radio. Um, it doesn't cost a whole lot. It's like under $400 for the whole radio. Uh, and the, the, the Thetis, I'm running Thetis, uh, is the, um, the software I'm using for it on the computer. And it basically what it's done is I've hooked it right into my router with, a, um, with an Ethernet cable. I ended up buying a new Ethernet cable only because the one I had was about six feet too long. And the a short one that I had that I want to do with my portable work. I'm going to show you guys how to do portable with this thing, hopefully. And so I bought a couple of cords. They're cheap. My good buddy, Chris over in the UK, Digital Analog Ham, gave me a list of all the softwares you can run with this radio. And I'll try, in one of the videos, I'm gonna show that to you guys. I'm gonna show you later in the videos about how to hook it to your laptop. And you can even actually, while you're near your house, you can actually sit in your living room, uh, bring your laptop out in the living room with you, operate the radio from, from Wi-Fi. And I'm gonna show that to you guys too. It's a super, it's super easy, basically you just, you have your uh, system hooked to the Wi-Fi, and you turn on the Thetis, and boom, it comes up. So I'm Chuck, KK6USY, for Hammer Adventures. Thank you for joining me, guys. And uh, stick around if you want to see more of this. If you're new here, hit the subscribe button. Hit the bell, hit all. That way, you'll get all my future videos. And don't forget to hit the like also, guys. I'm Chuck, KK6USY, for Hammer Adventures. 73 all. Hope to get you guys on the airways.